Hey there, survivors. How's it going? I'm your host, Douglas here at Drumway Productions, bringing you another Screaming Ghostface Collectors video. And today's video is one I am extremely excited to talk about because we're going to be taking a look at a mashup between Ghostface and Mortal Kombat, one of my favorite film characters and one of my favorite video game franchises. I'm sure many of you horror fans out there love Mortal Kombat, whether it be for the gruesome fatalities or just because it is a fun fighting game. As for myself, it is one of my favorites, and I have played and beaten almost every single Mortal Kombat entry that has ever been made. It is definitely one of my favorite franchises. However, the newest entry, Mortal Kombat 1, is one I had yet to pick up. But now, due to the addition of Ghostface, it's one I will likely be adding to my collection very soon. Ever since MK9, Mortal Kombat has been host to a whole cast of different horror characters over the years. Starting off with Freddy Krueger, we've had Jason, we've had Leatherface, and now, finally, Ghostface. I know this is a bit of a surprising entry to a lot of you out there. After all, Mortal Kombat is host to, at this point, superheroes, gods, demons, just everything in between that you could think of outside of just a regular human being, and here we have Ghostface, just a guy with a knife. So if you look at it from the viewpoint of these being a classic style Ghostface where it is just a random person wearing a mask and knife, not that impressive. However, if you think about this in the context of Mortal Kombat, and because it's Ghostface, anyone could be under that costume and behind that mask. So who's to say that it is just a regular human being under the costume? This is not the Scream movie style Ghostface. This is Ghostface from Fun World. So a little bit different than the movie character, but let's just go ahead and dive right in. I cannot wait to see Ghostface in Mortal Kombat. I've got the video pulled up, but I don't think I can really show it to you all. So I'm just gonna go ahead, watch it, react to it, and give you my thoughts. Let's start with the official MK1 Ghostface trailer. All right, so just to start things off, it does say that this is Ghostface from Scream, so I'm not sure if they got the actual license for Scream or not, but the version of the costume that we're seeing so far looks to more closely resemble the original Fun World style. But I can tell the robe does have a little bit of a sparkle to it. Oh my god, okay, I'm only like halfway through and this looks so fantastic. Of course they got Roger Jackson back to do the voice lines, and just to comment on that, I love the fact that it sounds like you can actually hear the voice coming through the mask. It's slightly muffled. That is something that we miss a lot with some of the later Scream films. I love that they added that here. Also just the actual moveset, the way that Ghostface moves around, does look a lot like the character. Especially whenever they're running. Ah, oh, I love this so much, guys. The command grabs look great. There are so many homages to different characters' deaths or when they were attacked. Uh, I think it looks like one of the command grabs allows you to stab them in the back and the front and kind of lift them up, like what happened to Dewey whenever he passed away, RIP. One of my other favorites so far is the tag team stabbing with another ghost face that very, very closely resembles and I'm sure was an homage to Chad being stabbed so many times in Scream 6. Ah, I'm just loving this so far. Oh, oh my god, guys. There's a couple more of these videos to watch, but there are so many wonderful moments in this. Of course, the voice lines between characters when they clash at the beginning. I cannot wait to hear all of those. I'm sure Ghostface is going to have plenty of really, really funny ones. Um, the X-Ray. Oh my goodness, that's so sick. I love that. Um, other special moves I noticed. It looks like you could throw a knife, which is very similar to Scream 3. I'm sure that's a Scream 3 homage. And uh, probably the same thing there with that X-Ray move as well. And uh, Ghostface crawling along the ground and like slicing at your ankles and stabbing you in the foot is just such a Ghostface thing. This might be one of my favorite combat pack additions in any of the games. They did so well on this, guys, and I haven't even seen everything. I haven't seen any of the alternate cosmetics or anything like that yet, so let's just go ahead and take a look further. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just go through and look at the brutalities, fatalities, animalities, friendships, stuff like that. With the first brutality, you stab the opponent in the forehead and they just start gushing blood and then just swinging their arms wildly. This is definitely a reference to Officer Perkins' death in Scream 4. Let's just go ahead and move right along. I'm loving this so far, guys. Oh, I just saw the first fatality, and it is so beautifully meta. You have Ghostface just killing the opponent like they were starting an actual fatality, and it kind of pans out to show that this is Johnny Cage button mashing, playing Mortal Kombat in Mortal Kombat, and Ghostface sneaks up behind him and kills him. And the second fatality features an assist from a second Ghostface. 
I absolutely love these kills, guys. The cinematography in them, the homages, all the Easter egg stuff like that, they just look so good. All right, I, I guess that's everything. Is there no animality or friendship? Oh no, there it is. You have Ghostface turning into a vulture and ripping the person's chest open. That is pretty cool. I guess I can't really think of a certain animality I would have went with, so very cool addition. Let's go ahead and see if we can't check out some of the cosmetics. All right, I think I found the different Ghostface skins. I doubt this is everything. There will likely be more added in the future. There may even already be more than what I'm covering here. If so, let me know in the comment section down below, but this is just what I could find for you guys to talk about real quick. So of course we have Ghostface with the... All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all the different skins for Ghostface that they've shown so far. First off, of course we have the Chrome Mask. That is a favorite at this point. Uh, the Devil Face, same thing. It's iconic. It made its first appearance in Dead by Daylight, and now I guess it's officially a Mortal Kombat mask as well. No longer exclusive to Dead by Daylight. Then we have a Scorpion version of the Ghost Face mask. I'm assuming that they're just going to do all of the ninjas in different colors, but maybe not. But in this shot, it shows Ghost Face with the classic yellow Scorpion face mask. Going right along, we have a Cyborg version of Ghost Face. And wow, the face on that is very interesting looking. Having no nose is kind of an odd look, but overall the shape of that is really cool. I don't think that that's something they would ever officially produce, and it's not like the best look, but it's not terrible either. Definitely an interesting robotic ghost face. And then of course the classic blood stained. The blood dripping down the face on this one looks excellent. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't do, and I mean I guess they could have and it could still be in here. Being that these are the fun world versions, they could definitely do one with like the blood trickling down the face animated throughout the entire match like it was one of the squeeze pump versions. Moving right along, we have a scarecrow variant. At least it looks to be a scarecrow. It's hard to say for certain, but looking at like the folds in the fabric alongside the mouth and around the eyes, it looks to be one of the scarecrow versions for sure with that overlapping burlap. Then of course we have the aged variants. Looking at it up close, they do look to just be like the Billy style masks, and they look to be pretty accurate. Overall, the shape of the masks looks really great, and that's kind of surprising. If you saw that initial reveal, the mask looked a little bit closer to a T-stamp style ghost face, whereas these look just like their real world variants, which leads me to believe that they may have actually 3D scanned real world masks I'm sure it would have been no trouble getting copies of a Scarecrow, a Devil Face, and of course, you know, one of the screen used original Billy masks. So I'm almost willing to bet that these are 100% scanned off of the originals because some of that texture on that burlap mask in particular just looks too realistic to be something that an artist made. However, if an artist actually digitally made that and you're watching this, kudos, because you have made the best looking ghost face I think that has ever been in a video game. As far as actually capturing the look of the character, the movement, you know, the actual mask, of course, one of the main parts, overall, they just did a fantastic job, which this is Mortal Kombat we're talking about. Of course, they're gonna do a fantastic job. And last, but certainly not least for the masks, we have what has definitely become the fan favorite immediately, the Tarkatan Ghostface Mask. This thing looks incredible. I absolutely love the design of this mask, and I'm hoping that Fun World makes a real world variant of this. I have already seen a couple of people sculpt their own original replicas, but this is something that deserves to be an officially licensed mask. And you know, with some of the other variants we've seen, I would not be opposed to seeing some Mortal Kombat licensed ghost face masks, just like we got for Dead by Daylight. So Fun World, if you're listening, I say go for it. Well, that covers the masks, but there are different costume variants as well. We only get a look at three here in this image, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about those. Hopefully they will continue to release more cosmetics for Ghostface as they make updates in the game, but so far with what we can see here, we have Devil Face paired with a black and red robe that buttons down midway. This one is kind of an interesting take on a Ghostface robe, but it also looks very similar to a religious black and red style robe that Fun World already offers. So I wonder if it was based off of that or just completely their own design. Then to the left, we have the aged mask with a classic style Ghostface robe that has a skeleton painted onto it. 
This actually kind of reminds me of the Skull Mask Killer from Fear Street, and it would be kind of funny if they did intentionally borrow that, being that, you know, Fear Street borrowed from Scream, so I think that would be pretty funny if it was an homage or just whatever. People have made skeleton robes for Halloween longer than Fun World's been a company, so it may not necessarily be an homage to Fear Street, but it would be cool if that was the intention. And then on the bottom right, we have the chrome or silver ghost face mask with kind of like a religious, heavily embroidered looking robe. It's kind of like grayish silver kind of. Uh, kind of an interesting look. I would say that that one is definitely my least favorite out of the three that we see here. I also noticed in the image to the left that Ghostface has a different knife than the standard Buck 120, so perhaps you can even customize the knives. I'll be honest with you all, I love Mortal Kombat, but I have never played Mortal Kombat 1. I've had pretty much every game before it, but I just never picked up the newest one. Of course, now I'm gonna have to. There were already some cool other additions with Peacemaker, Omni-Man, and of course Homelander, but Ghostface being added to the mix is just a dream come true. At the same time, it's one that I personally never really considered because out of all of the different slashers that have some paranormal ties, Ghostface is the only one that truly, you know, it isn't even really the person. Ghostface is not the person. It pretty much is the costume itself. Whoever wears it is Ghostface. So like I said, it could be Mortal Kombat characters wearing the Ghostface costumes. It could be Billy and Stu. It could be completely random new characters, just like with Dead by Daylight. I don't know. Regardless, Ghostface is the last character that I ever expected to see in Mortal Kombat. I am happy to see it. I really wish that we would have gotten Ash, though. I know that for, I think it was MK11, I think it was the last game, it may have even been MKX. We did have Ash kind of teased, he was even in the files, but ultimately it just never worked out. Which is such a bummer, because out of all the horror characters that would make sense to be pulled through a wormhole into another dimension to fight the forces of evil, Ash would make the most sense, but unfortunately that never happened and it may never happen. I'm hoping at some point in the future we will get that opportunity, but for now it's time for me to pick up the blade, don the mask, and start slaying people as Ghostface. With that being said, I love you all, I hope you enjoyed today's video, thank you for watching, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.